Welcome to the Jenga.net training video. My name is Kim, and I will be showing a quick preview about Jenga.net. In this video, we will be taking a look at our first steps within the Jenga.net development platform and discussing what is available to us as a developer wanting to rapidly create desktop applications. So, what is Jenga.net? Jenga.net is an efficient low-code platform to build modern WinForms desktop apps. Through a simple and secure interface, you connect one or more databases, on-premises or in the cloud, and start to create your applications. Jenga is compatible with the largest databases in the market, MySQL, MariaDB, PostgreSQL, SQLite, Microsoft SQL Server, Oracle and Firebird. It helps you to create complete desktop systems and business intelligence solutions fast and easy. First, we need to download the Jenga.net installer from the link in the description below. Welcome to Jenga.net installation wizard. Here we can select the default location and click install. After the installation is complete, launch Jenga from the start menu. Within Jenga interface, we have our main menu on the left side where we have various options. We also have some icon buttons at the title bar for rapid access to much needed features like the build, save and refresh project. Within this main window, we have our app settings, where all the project info and configurations is located. You notice some are read-only, because Jenga.net in future will support other configurations for ASP.NET and Blazor server projects. The Entities tab contains the database tables as entity classes. Each entity contains its associated components. Jenga supports multiple types of components. The form component is used to generate CRUD forms for a database. Create, read, update and delete all ready to go, fully customizable and quite easy to use. The grid view component, it is one of the most important components and will exist within most projects. The grid view displays lists of data from our database tables. We can create reports, summaries and so on. It supports search, filters, pagination, create, update and delete operations. The tile view component is quite similar to grid view component and it displays data in tiled view with photos. It supports search, filters, pagination, create, update and delete operations. The search component is just a custom dialog for searching records from the database. Jenga also supports the charts component by using the Jenga chart attribute. The chart component is dedicated to display our records and information in different kind of charts, including various options to customize them. Another awesome feature is the authentication component. By using the Jenga authentication interface in the authentication class, Jenga will complete the rest by generating the authentication code for you, including logins and password reset forms with multiple secure password hashing algorithms. Jenga also supports the dashboard widgets by using the Jenga widget attribute. The widget component provides us with stunning views to display our real-time records and information summaries in the dashboard. It is fully customizable. You can change the colors or add an icon. To add a component, click on components and click on plus sign on the top right window. Enter the component name and component type. Select the target location and click Save. Double-click on any component to access its properties. This is where you will update the visibility, validation, search, filter, data format and many more options. After you have completed designing the components in all the entities, simply click the Generate Code button. Switch to Visual Studio and use the generated Jenga components to construct your project. Let's just run the project as it is. You will notice the grid view includes an integrated search, filters, pagination and record summary. You will also notice the create, delete and edit buttons already integrated. We have learned some basic first steps with Jenga.net, 
I should highlight the fact that this has been very basic as each of the components we have used within this video have many options, features and customizations available as indicated. Please let me remind you that you may visit the link in the description below to download Jenga.net and also get access to the documentation. I hope this video was useful to you and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Thank you for watching.